Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Measures of Center. We're going to be talking about three measures of center. Our first measure is mean. We like to think of mean as the average, but what does that mean? Let's go ahead and look at a data set. Here I have 9, 4, 3, 1, 3, 4. My first step is going to be to add all of the values. So each part of my data set is going to be added together. So 9 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4. Next, I'm going to be dividing, which is 24. Next, I'm going to be dividing by the number of values in the set. So I will go ahead and divide by how many are in this data set. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So after I added, I got 24. When I divide that by 6, I end up with 4. So my mean for this data set is 4. Our next measure of center is going to be median. We like to think of median as the middle. So here I have the same data set, 9, 4, 3, 1, 3, 4. And my first step is going to be arranging values from least to greatest. So I'm going to go ahead and take these and rearrange them so that I've got 1, 3, 3, 4, 4, 9. Because I want to make sure that these are all going from least to greatest as my first step. Then I'm going to find the value that's in the middle. So to do this, I'm going to cross off the outermost edge until I work into the center. So I would cross off 1, 9, I'd cross out 3, then 4, and I'm left with both 3 and 4. So because this is an even data set, I won't have one number in the middle, I actually have two. I'm going to need to find the mean of those two center values. So remember our steps for mean were to add our data set together, so 3 plus 4, and then divide by how many numbers are in the data set, which is 2. So this just becomes 7 divided by 2, or we could say 3 and a half. Now that I've found the mean and the median for this data set, we're going to find our last value, which is the mode. We like to think of mode as most often. So we have the same data set here, and I would arrange the values from least to greatest. The reason that I do this for mode if it's not obvious is because then it helps me see clearly which numbers repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the same order as last time, 1, 3, 3, 4, 4, 9. And the value that occurs most often is going to be my mode. Well, here I see that there's actually two numbers that occur most often. And there can be more than one mode. Sometimes there is no mode at all. So when there's no mode, I just say no mode. In this case, there is more than one mode. So I have both 3 and 4. This is called bimodal, whenever there are two modes. Let's recap. We know a measure of center is just a value that represents the middle of a data set. We know our three measures of center are mean, median, and mode. Mean is our average, median is our middle, and mode is our most often. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time!